I'm, I'm always sure, first in an ideal scenario, if you're having a fight, how long of a lead into the fight? Do what you I like? like? Yeah. Me personally, I'm the type of fighter that like. I grow in confidence the more I train. Yeah. So a lot of the fires you, you you'll hear it, it it's flowy and the, it's trying smart, not mm. hard. I'm the opposite. When I train hard, I know I've no corners cut. Yeah. I know yeah. I'm at the walk my bollocks off. I grow in confidence then. So typically eight weeks, but I do twelve week camp. Not right. a lot. Say you had a twelve week camp. Like what actually goes into that? How many times a day you train, and what way does it look like trying to? Pull your weight down as you're trying to train to perform and not so get a typical out. week for me monday morning go strength and conditioning <coughs> monday afternoon i'll have a muay thai session your strength and conditioning session is usually about an hour long of the, depending on what you're doing it, it'd be your one compound exercise and then a couple of exercises revolved around that and yeah, then yeah. a load of core and a little bit of uh, conditioning then when you go to the your Muay Thai session, it'd be probably 15, 20 minutes skipping, 15, 20 minutes shadow boxing, a little bit of body work. It could be clinching, it could be play spar, five to six rounds on pads, then a load of conditioning. Right. That's a good day, yeah. Then <laughs> a day. Tuesday, yeah, that's day. Day. <laughs> Tuesday morning, it'd be your Muay Thai session, similar to the one you've done the night before. Then it'd be a sprint session, usually on the air down. Right, yeah. So your sprint session is usually based off your water. So for instance, it does like it does it off your power output. So yeah. if for instance I hit a thousand calls on the watt bike within ten seconds, it'll walk her off that. So you'll be it'll be sixty percent for twenty seconds or thirty seconds. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you hold that at six hundred watts right. for thirty seconds, then increase it'll be seventy percent for twenty seconds, uh then right. the last is max effort. So you're trying to build your engine at the start to so your your first burst it'll be thirty seconds, but there's no break, it's a full minute sprint for one lap and then obviously you get three minutes off. So it'd be 600 watts for 30 seconds, 700 watts for 20 seconds, and <coughs> last 10 seconds. Fly out. Max Yeah, faster but, as you go, like, yeah. But, but then as you build, your time goes down. Okay, yeah, yeah. So later in camp, it'd be 20 seconds, just 15 seconds, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be smaller explosions, but at a much higher pace. So my sprint session, Tuesday night, then Wednesday morning, strength and conditioning, Wednesday night. <laughs> Muay Thai. Muay Thai, Tuesday morning, Muay Thai, Thursday night, sprints, <laughs> Friday morning is usually the easiest session of the week because you've sparred that night. All oh, right. <laughs> sparred your heart. I was going to say you get a little break on a Friday evening. I broke up. <laughs> uh, and then Saturday morning is usually just kind of uh, a shakeout session or a last sprint session. No tea and biscuits as a Muay Thai fighter, so no. <laughs> well, you have a few tea and biscuits that night. <laughs> 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 no. But... Uh, Usually coming down gradually through the weeks is when you start kind of cutting your calories, start yeah, cutting yeah, all yeah. your foods out. Basically the same as most fighters, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a mad one, like, because in the world of body, bodybuilding, for example, like, they obviously are the extreme of, like, cutting calories and all, but, like, they don't have to worry about fighting someone or, like, getting into a ring and performing. Perform they just have to look a certain way. Yeah. Whereas you have to worry about your weight, but also your performance, staying injury-free, hydration. Free, rehydration. The day is, is the biggest part of it. Like, you see a lot of fighters that, they, if they don't have to rehydrate properly, they end up fucking their liver up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, or their kidneys. Yeah, you hear some horror stories, don't you? Yeah, no, some bad ones, like. Have you had any, like, Horrible weight cuts, or have you managed? I've had life? a couple of bad weight cuts, but I've never had a bad circumstance. You know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Collie knows me very well, so he knows when I'm kind of getting to a stage where it's getting dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just ripped me out. You know what I mean? But right. I used to make fifty nine kilos. Why yeah, would you walk? Why would you walk around that? Yeah. Now, yeah, about seventy four. But back oh. then, I wouldn't have held as much muscle. Right. I probably walked around that about seventy three. Yeah, I yeah. walk around seventy four now. Not like training eating where I want, yeah, but training, yeah, okay. do you know what I mean? I probably walk around at about 77 now, eating where, wherever I want, to, you know yeah, okay, I mean? yeah, yeah. But uh, I've had one bad cook on the 59 where I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do this, and we got it done, but <laughs> not without fucking <laughs> a lot of hassle. You know? oh, I can imagine <laughs> fires turning into David's when they couldn't wait, trust me on that. <laughs> what, what. The for you as well, actually, cut me. You know the way you see the UFC fighters and they'd be like in bats yeah, or they'd be like covered in the same, same, same so job, yeah. 
a lot of, so in Thailand you'll see a lot of them running in sauna suits mm. yeah but that's idiotic do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean you're running your body into the ground today before you, you're gonna fight you yeah. know what I mean <laughs> stupid <coughs> so least effort is the way forward yeah, so yeah, yeah. if I don't have to make any effort I'm not gonna put my body through as much stress yeah do you know what I mean so a, a hot bath a, a sauna are ideal because you don't have to move too much do you yeah, know what I mean yeah. The hot bath is a little bit gruesome, so is the sauna a little bit gruesome. So what you're doing is you're getting a bath to a certain temperature, usually around 40 degrees, 38, 40 degrees. That's on a level or so. Uh, put Epsom salts in the bath, so Epsom salt shots from your water. The week leading up there, you'll water load. Mm. Mm. So you drink like a copious amount of water, usually around eight liters of water for a couple of days. Right, yeah. Uh, take sodium salt sugar and carbohydrates out of your diet so your body doesn't retain water yeah 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 you just release it do you know what i mean and yeah i, I don't know i think it, i think it tricks your body into think it's flooding <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you're right. just constantly you're pissing pissing, oh. you're pissing out your arsenal <laughs> you're pissing out your arsenal it's not good <laughs> Then, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try it now just to yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> so gradually throughout the week, the water gradually drops, but you keep pissing. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah, so your body hasn't had any salt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then that's when you'll cut weight at the end of it. So you'll start off at about 8 litres of water, and your last day you'll have probably 500 mils of water. And then you'll dehydrate for 24 hours. So by the time you weigh in, so you'll have 500 mils 24 hours before you weigh in. Right. You know what I mean? So oh. you're dehydrated for 24 hours and <laughs> then you cut your weight. That is mad. And then you go in and scrap somebody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but nowadays, people are smart, so they know how to rehydrate properly. Yeah. So it's not just a fact, and like you're saying, like back in the day, I used to see people bled and chomping chicken filler rolls out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And fucking eating mad shit, do you know? Yeah. yeah like, but now people are a lot smarter, they know like diets, they know how they know how to do it, you know yeah. what I mean? It's now like what you're after taking away from your body and now trying to replenish your body with it, do you know what I mean? So you're putting your salts, your sugars back in there, your carbs back in there. And then you see people going back into Superman, you know oh, what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Madness, like I remember I've seen um Connor's was probably one of the best examples of it. Oh when he was making <laughs> Fedaway he How did before. he do it? Yeah. When he fought <laughs> Mendez, I think yeah. was he looked bad, bad. And then the next night he's bladed 20 times bigger than him yeah. <laughs> that's crazy and I remember Aljamain Sterling I think he fights at 135 wasn't it yeah, and like he's back up to 170 or something yeah, then <laughs> so yeah how madness it's a mad world it's a, it's a weird old thing isn't it the whole way making way for a fight but like you're not actually fighting stupid. at that way it's stupid I don't understand Just the logic people looking for behind it, yeah. advantages yeah yeah, yeah. It's, that's literally all that is it's someone wants an advantage so how much can I drain my body to make a weight on the scales and then just... And then I'll just suck all back in. Yeah, yeah. It'll be huge compared to this cunt tomorrow, you know what I mean? Ah. What's your, like... I don't know if that is anyway. If they tried to bring in some way that, like, everyone had to fight at the natural way, what way would you, like, police that so that it would actually... Like, would you just I, randomly test people throughout the year what the weight is? You'd, you'd probably... Yeah, you'd probably yeah. have to get a rough measure of people... What, what people are... What weights that are. So, WBC, they were... WBC, they were, like, a check... Four weeks out from a fight, you need to be a certain weight with WBC. So, oh, really? say for instance, it has to be within four kilos of your fight weight. Mm. Three weeks out, two kilos. Four yeah, weeks, yeah, yeah. Two weeks out, one kilo, blah, 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 so on and so forth. That's actually a good way of tracking it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that people are drastically cutting major amounts of weight. Yeah. You know, people still cut weight and do, yeah, and do yeah, like yeah. mini weigh ins on them for yeah, yeah, weeks. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But tricky that one, is yeah. a good way of doing it because. No one really wants to be cutting away four times within a month, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah true. will deter them from, yeah, from attending. Yeah. Yeah. So ever see a man who fought against Daniel Dubois you know, on the Saudi card? And he, he's like 300 yeah. and... Oh, maybe yeah. Miller. Maybe Miller, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he's caught by Jules about four times. Yeah, yeah. Years, <laughs> you know what I mean? He had a fight against Joshua that got yeah, cancelled. because he got cancelled he... twice. <laughs> yeah, and you now he's just man. fighting Dubois. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Though, like, like that, like, how is he allowed to fight? Yeah, exactly. Shouldn't be allowed to fight. <laughs> no, Boxing seems like one of the, yeah, the most corrupt sports of the law. I think they all are. I think yeah. all combat, like, I don't know what it is. Combat sports, uh, they involve a lot of drug dealers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. true. Yeah. Just a lot of like, high, high powered people get involved in it, and then it becomes this thing where one person's putting a lot of money on someone, so then. 
yeah you yeah. know what i mean the gambling yeah. side of things is where things go wrong like this fella's not meant to win you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear all the stories of the mafia being involved in the us or yeah. even a uh, mtk the kind of hands mm. remember all that yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. All yeah. same as like thailand thailand like it's a big thing gambling's huge over there and so is that's he, uh, what, yeah so like, you'd see a lot of like they fix fights as well over there like like it's fighters will take dives and all that yeah but oh, then yeah, yeah. if it's found out that fight will never let a fight in the stadium again so and when you say in the stadium is it like just that stadium just or? that stadium because right. <laughs> all stadiums have different kind of real sets and ah, all right, right. have different titles and yeah, yeah. So yeah, one, isn't it? not loud in that stadium, but you can fight yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy old setup. Yeah. Madness. 